Hello and welcome to Car Lube TV. In this video, my mate does a bad thing. No, that can't be enough. <laughs> we modify the Sirocco by addressing the poor offset of the wheels, and I demonstrate rubbish spatial awareness. As always, if you like what you're watching, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to a new episode of Car Lube TV. In the background, you can see my new VW Scirocco 2 litre TSI. And today what we're gonna do is fit some wheel spacers because the wheels are looking a bit inset. I've got some 20 mil hub symmetric spacers to fit on it. Actually used to have them on my Audi, but um, we're gonna fit them today and see how we get on. Now we've got the wheel off, all we need to do is use a wire brush on the hub here, a bit of copper slip and bang the spacer on. Because I bought this car from a farm, as you can see, it's caked in mud. So we're gonna get the pressure washer out and give that a good clean off while we've got the opportunity with the wheel off. So here we can see Lee just going to town with the wire brush just on the hub, just making sure it's as flat as possible so we don't get any vibrations from the wheel spacers. We'll obviously do the same to the wheel spacers as well because they have been on a car previously. And then we'll add some copper slip on there and then we're good to go for the wheel back on. is nice and cleaned up now on both sides um, just giving them a little bit of a wire brushing up and uh, the, the face of the wheels nice and clean as well so next stage is to pop some copper slip on the uh, hub and we're away so here comes the lovely copper slip going on a bit on the hub there do you like the feel of that oh yeah it's slimy <laughs> can't tell got gloves oh yeah <laughs> looks very damp You seem to love that. <laughs> okay. No, that can't be enough. <laughs> you stinky. <laughs> I've got to stand near you. Okay, wheel space is going on. We have partial touchdown. Is it flash? Is it sitting on it? I need to tap it on. It doesn't look like it looks like there's a gap. Yeah, I, I need to make sure it's actually over the right holes first. Yeah. And then you'll probably have to tap it on because that's not even. There we go. Okay. So a bit copper slip on the front? Yep. I would otherwise the uh, wheel get stuck to it, probably. So that's 20 mils, guys. That doesn't look like a lot, but it will make a big difference to the uh, offset of the wheel. nicely covered lovely so it's always worthwhile putting a bit of copper slip on the wheel bolts as well because um, otherwise they might seize up in time as well just thinking about future James when it comes to taking these wheels off again did a grand job there Lee Cheers. Did 
you notice someone has actually painted my brake calipers blue? That's nice, isn't it? They'll probably be going black at some point. So we've got the 20 mil spacers on. We'll show you at the end what the alignment looks like. Um, worth mentioning actually, the reason that you can fit 20 mil spacers on pretty much any European car is because in Europe, they have to make the wheels inset uh, to allow for a regulation which says that they must be able to fit snow chains on their wheels when it gets snowy. So that's uh, a regulation. So that's why we're taking advantage of just pulling those wheels slightly out and getting a more flush fitment. And there we go. We're going to talk them up and then we'll be done. So there we go guys, the Scirocco is finished, for the time being at least. Loads of mods left to do, but we've got the spaces on now. Have a look at the results, see what you think. Consider subscribing, there's gonna be loads more on this car. And I mean, oh gosh, I don't wanna give anything away, but uh, subscribe and comment. Any questions, I'll answer them. Until the next video guys, see you again. Let's see what we've achieved. Just a reminder guys, if you want to see more mods for this car, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out. <laughs>for the channel uh, new to me at least it's a 2009 Volkswagen Scirocco 2 litre TSI has a color changing indicator so you can see it actually working it turns purple as it breaks down and neutralizes the iron contamination which is deposited on your wheels from braking